Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles and Caging and today we're doing an unboxing video and we're pulling some eggs. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today we're going to start off with pulling some eggs and then right after we're going to be doing an unboxing video. we got an awesome, awesome adult breeder coming in. I'm excited to show you guys that. But right now we've got some eggs to pull. Our purple passion looks like she's completely finished having all of her eggs. So I'm going to show you guys that. She is one of the more feisty ones. Uh, that way you guys can see how much they actually hiss and what they do when you take the eggs. We're just going to pull them out, see how many she's got, see how many are fertile, and we're going to throw them in the incubator. It is just me filming today, so I'm going to do my best to be able to film while still trying to talk to you guys. Last year this pairing was my favorite clutch because it all hatched very very quickly. Um, we're going to open up a spare bin. That way we've got somewhere to put her so we can clean the eggs, clean her out. But there she is. She's incredibly grumpy but that's alright. Hi mama. Here is an... It's okay. Come here. Alright, I set her in another bin. We definitely have one slug right here. And all the rest of these look pretty good though. But this guy we're going to set aside. So when these come out, they actually stick together. But if you get them within the first couple of hours, they're actually pretty easy to pull apart. And I checked her last night, so I know that these are fairly new. So, should be able to just gently pull them apart. So, since these are new, these should gently pull apart. Nestle them in there. You don't want to pull too hard on any of these, and you also want to make sure you keep them in the same orientation. I find the easiest way to do that is you put your finger where the top is, and then you can move around when you're actually about to pull that specific egg. I might end up doing with this. I may end up putting the camera down and doing this with two hands just to make it a little bit easier. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that pretty well, but it's a lot easier to do with two hands. So you just slowly, gently work them. They are very stuck together. You don't want to rip any eggs, anything like that. But you just gently work them apart. She had about as many as last year. I think last year was eight or nine. I think this is seven, which still isn't too bad. If any go bad, they actually, like if they start to rot or mold or anything like that, they will actually start to um, fall apart from the rest. So you'll be able to still remove it if it's actually rotting really badly. If all right, so I've got the light off. I've got all of them in my bin, and we're going to candle them. So looks like they've got really strong veins. So with ball python eggs, normally you can tell right away if they've got their veins, like this one, very, very easy to see veins. But if we see any, like, not that one. Here we go. So see how you don't see anything right here? Check on this a few days later or next week. This should be completely full of veins. Yep. So it looks like we've got seven good eggs. Hey guys, we're going to be doing another unboxing video for you today. Just like last time, I'm still in my work clothes. The lighting's not going to be that good. Um, once we get this we get this guy quarantined for a couple of weeks, we'll take him down for a couple of better photos with some better lighting. Um, but we just want to get him out as soon as possible. So this one right here, this is a male. And hopefully next season we'll be able to use him. Um, it's already breeding season for us right now. Since it's already later in our season and we still need to get him at least a three month quarantine, we won't be using him until next year, um, no matter what. So, it's from J5 Reptiles. Here's a couple of their cards. Luckily, it's finally warm enough around here so we can ship freely now. And. He's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. It's a proven breeder. 
and just like last time I might edit part of this out because it normally takes me quite a while to get these things opened up all the way but oh and there's another one Bob Vu I'm gonna have to ask him the last unboxing video we did um, he did this nice little knot. You had just pull one string and the whole thing came out. So I'm definitely going to have to ask how he does that or at least pay attention next time we get some stuff from him. We're hoping to get some more soon. He looks perfect. So this is going to, as you guys know, we're now starting some clown stuff. This boy right here is hopefully going to be the dad for some really cool clown babies for us. This is a pastel jigsaw so it's a Mojave and a pinstripe clown so we're hoping to introduce them into some GHI stuff in the future put them with we have mostly normal clown females right now and couple a couple different of and a couple different hats but he's beautiful really really nice color really nice pattern and I think he's gonna do really good here but he's a little bit cold he's been in the box all day uh, so we're gonna go get him up Get them in this quarantine rack. He's beautiful. And that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We do videos every Wednesday, and we'll see you next Wednesday.